police received a 911 call for a disturbance and trespassing. Uh, when the police arrived, uh, they were met by Starbucks employees who said that two males were trespassing and had refused to leave the establishment. Uh, according to employees, uh, they had seen these two males come in, they sat down, and after being seated, they decided that they needed to use the restroom. Uh, Starbucks said that according to their company policy, they do not allow non-paying uh, members or non-paying uh, people of the public to come in and, and use the restroom. And so they then asked these two males to leave. These two males refused to leave, uh, and the police were called. What happened in the way that incident escalated and the outcome was nothing but reprehensible. And I'm sorry. I want to apologize to the community in Philadelphia and to all my Starbucks partners. This is not who we are, and it's not who we're going to be. We are going to learn from this, and we will be better for it. These officers did absolutely nothing wrong. They followed policy. They did what they were supposed to do. They were professional in all their dealings with these gentlemen, and instead, they got the opposite back. I will say that as an African-American male, I am very aware of implicit bias. We are committed to fair and unbiased policing, and anything less than that will not be tolerated in this department. We had a very constructive meeting uh, with the mayor, the police commissioner, uh, other government elected officials, and we really appreciate the transparency and the spirit with which we are working together to ensure that we address the situation that happened last week in the Starbucks store. I'm satisfied that they came working trite and want to, to improve and work with us to make that improvement.